Hello everyone, I am Austin, here from Austin's Home Lab. Today I will be going over the Nutanix file setup. Um, I am on the Nutanix Community Edition, and I'm going to go ahead and log in with my admin credentials. In order to use Nutanix files, you will need to set up a couple of things first in your Nutanix Prism Element settings. <coughs> first you go to Settings, and you want to go to Authentication, and you want to add an Active Directory. As you can see, I have my Active Directory already added, but in order to add it, you just add a new directory. Choose either LDAP or Active Directory. I used Active Directory. Add your name, your domain, your directory URL, whether you want it to be recursive or non-recursive. This just basically means do you want it to see folders or directories within directories. Uh, I don't have that enabled because I don't have directories within directories. And then put your service account and save it. After that, you'll want to add a role mapping. Um, I already have created a role mapping for my Nutanix admins. As you can see, it's for users, and I have one for groups as well, for basic users giving them viewer permissions. After that, you will want to scroll up to name servers, and then add your DNS server. I am using Windows Server 2012 at this IP address, and this is where my DNS is hosted. So after that, I will go back to the Nutanix homepage, up here at the, where it says home, I will click file server. So as you can see, I already have one file server created, but I'm going to show you how to create another one. So I will be doing test1 with the domain of test.shirolab.local, because that is my DNS. File server requires that you use terabits. Um, I'm going to use one, just because this is a home lab. And because this is also a home lab, I am going to decrease these resources because I don't want it to consum or consume all my resources because it's just for testing purposes. If you're in a production environment, I recommend you use the recommendations from Nutanix. So I'm going to save this, click Next. Here I will need to choose the network that is connected for the AD. So I'm going to use the same VLAN that my AD is on. I'm going to Nutanix VLAN add the information that is needed and then I'm going to add an IP address I will use this IP address quick note if you don't click save it will not save this and it will actually get rid of it whenever you click next another important thing to add is your DNS server down here if you don't add your DNS server right here it will not find it for the files VM so click next going to add the second IP which is going to be on the same VLAN and this one I will give an IP of 192.168.40.40 and I'm going to go back just to verify okay I can do 39 actually to be safe and Nutanix does ranges so if you were deploying new numerous file servers you can do 38 to 39 which would deploy two IPs worth of file servers so, but I'm not doing that so I'm just going to click save next so Nutanix files works with both NFS and SMB I'm going to use SMB so I'll click it and enter in my credentials if I were creating a file server um, since I already have one created I am not going to do this you can also create the file server with selecting nothing I will do that just to show you for demonstration purposes what the summary page looks like so under the summary, it tells me that I'm creating a test1 file server. I'm creating it with 1 t terabit of storage, 1 file server VM, 4 CPUs, 12 gigs of RAM per VM, and a protection domain. I am not going to create a protection domain because, like I said, this is a home lab environment. If you are doing this in a production environment, I recommend you do the protection domain because it can save you a lot of headache in the long run if something bad happens on your files VM. So then you would create, uh, click Create and then wait for it to pop up. It'll take a long time for it to pop up, but whenever it does, it will show you something like this. Right here is my file server that I've already created. The first thing you want to do whenever you create a file server is go to DNS, choose Manual, and go under and look for your DNS and what settings you need to add. So I will go ahead and show you what my Windows Active Directory already looks like. Let me go ahead and log into this. 
I have set up just an act, a test Active Directory. Um, so the first thing I did was create the PTR, which as you can see is this one right here, the pointer record and the address ARPA in my DNS domain manager or DNS manager. And then after that, I created a subdomain with for the file server. Um, it does that because whenever you type in file server .shiro.lab, shiro.lab is the root or the tree, or no, it's actually they're just the root. And then the file server is the sub part of it. So it creates a folder for file server. For those of you who are new to Active Directory, I am still new myself and learning. This is all just for testing purposes. But in here, whenever you cle uh, create the new A record, um, you will need to add the IP, which I've already done this. I'm just showing it for demonstration purposes. So down here, you can add the IP, which is 192.168.40.33, which is my IP. And then the name, which is just this, uh, ntnx-file server dash one and as you can see it already has the file server folder because I'm in the folder and then it's also important that you do not create a PTR record for these two that are that you have to add inside your folders so I'm going to cancel it's important that you don't create the PTR record because I was running into errors whenever I had pointers for both the file server dot file server and the NTNX file server um, I don't know if that's a Nutanix issue or a Active Directory issue but it was just throwing an error and I was wanting to save you that from the future. Um, as you can see, a test one that I created just a few minutes ago is still in the process of being added. Uh, that's why it says that, so don't worry if you see that. Um, after you create the DNS server and add them and have them set up and they're verified, you will want to go to protocol management, directory service, and add your SMB protocol. It'll ask you a few questions on how to do, uh, join your Active Directory domain. I joined with my administrator account, which is used to log into the Windows v uh, Windows Server VM. That same account can be used for this Active Directory. Um, I'll use SMB and show you this, but NFS is a lot easier to set up. You can do it unmanaged for testing purposes and have it set up to not require any user requirements to log in and just have it so it can be used on your local network. So I'm going to cancel this. And then after you do all that, you want to add a share. I already have a share added, but I will walk you through the steps of how to do one. So you want to enter in a name of test, test. You choose what file server you want. Um, I'm going to use the one that's set up properly. And you can set up a path. So something I want to point out here is that you need to name your first folder after the name here. So I'm going to do tools test. And then it will create a path of test inside the file server. If you want to use just the tools directory, you can do that and just choose tools. Um, this is mine, so I'm saying tools because I've named it tools. But after you do that, you can click next and go to settings. I have encrypted SMB3 messages. You don't have to. You can also enable user restore, but I'm not going to do any of that. And then here is just a summary of everything. Um, if you wanted to create this, you would just click create but I'm going to cancel because I already have it done and now I will show you it in action let me go ahead and launch my Windows VM so as you can see I have added my tools directory but if you wanted to figure out how to add it you would just go to this PC add a network location oh I'm sorry actually you'd want to go down to around here map and network drive type in backslash backslash IP and then backslash minus tools and then if you added a folder you'd want to add a folder if there are individual names you want to do like test slash the other name you put in there and so on uh, you will also want to connect using different credentials and you will want to log in with the account that you have on your active directory uh, another quick note is to make sure that you add the at your DNS name at the very end in order to log in. I will show you an example with the uh, Nutanix Prism element with a test account that I have. <coughs> so in order to log in with Active Directory, I would do Austin at shirolab.local and then my password.
and then my password. <coughs> and as you can see, I've logged in as this user on the Active Directory. This will work as well with files if you want to use that. You can also use your main account, the administrator, but that is not recommended. Uh, thanks, and hope this helps you out. Bye.